Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. This is the last day uh, before Core 2021 releases on Arena, which I am stoked about. Uh, we've already got a lot of deck submissions, so I'm really excited to try and jump into those and see how the new set plays out. But this is our last one of a Coria standard, so hope we get a good one today. Uh, I, I do really, really like this deck. I think this is a very, very fun one. Surprisingly, not one that we have played yet. Uh, but it does kind of mix some of the elements of the Boros, like, 10th District Legionnaire kind of uh, um, little pump-up spells with a lot of the Gruul aggro things like Gruul Spellbreaker and even Fervent Champion and stuff. So uh, very, very excited to play this one out. Uh, I have play-tested this deck fairly extensively, and, like, it's solid. Uh, we'll, we'll summarize a little bit more at the end of the second video, but it's a pretty solid deck. Uh, it's, it's just a decent one all the way around. So, uh, we're going to look at the creatures first. So Fervent Champion is our only one drop creature. It's a 1-1 one -one with haste and first strike. Whenever it attacks, target attacking knight, uh, another target attacking knight you control gets plus one plus zero until the end of the turn. This does a really good job when you've got multiples in hand. Uh, you can proc them off of each other. Uh, equipment spells you activate that target this cost three less to activate. That is very irrelevant in this list. We do not run Ember Cleave or anything like that. But uh, this, in tandem with other Fervent Champions, is super, super good. Very, very aggressive. Uh, and the idea here is hyper-aggression. That's kind of the whole point of this deck, is to just run through the opponent as quickly as possible uh, and hope we get there. Uh, we already kind of talked 10th tenth, tenth District Legionnaire here. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with haste. Uh, whenever a spell that uh, targets it, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it and then scry one. Uh, as you can kind of tell by the rest of the list, and you've probably got a good idea of what we're already doing, 10th uh, tenth, tenth District Legionnaire... Uh, really really capitalizes on all of these spells super super well the fact that it also has haste and fixes the top of your deck uh, along with that one one counter really does a lot for us uh, especially considering that we're really just you know three four lands max and then we just go ham with as much as we can and so this just keeps the top of our deck uh, a live draw essentially uh, swift blade vindicator is in here as well this is a card that i haven't played with a ton uh, but I actually really like it. It's a 1-1 one, one for 2. Sounds kind of bad, but it has Double Strike, Vigilance, and Trample. Little insane. Um, and the the reality is, while this does not have haste, which is very, very key in this deck, uh, it does get through for quite a bit of damage. It's a huge, huge target. Uh, and the fact is, you know, you pump this up with 1 mana, and all of a sudden it's a, you know, 4-3 with Double Strike, Vigilance, and Trample. So it's like it's going to be doing a lot of damage. So this is a very, very quickly out of hand kind of card. Uh, to keep Recursion in this deck, we've got Dreadhorde Arcanist. This card is sweet. Uh, if you don't know about Dreadhorde Arcanist, you're missing out. This one essentially lets us reuse a lot of these spells from our graveyard. Uh, and so essentially we have extra cards in our hand at any given time when we have the Arcanist attacking. Uh, so whenever something comes out, or, or whenever it attacks, excuse me, uh, you get to play a uh, instant or sorcery card with, uh, with a converted mana cost that is less than or equal to its uh, power. Uh, in this case, obviously, it's one that triggers a lot of our stuff, but, you know, you pump it up once, you swing in, you pump it up again. Uh, it's very, very easy to get this thing going out of hand. It also has trample itself, so it can really, really get in there. Uh, we also have Gruul Spellbreaker as a four of here as a way to kind of top out the curve. Uh, it has trample. You can give it haste or, or uh, you can give it that plus one, plus one counter with Riot. Uh, and then, of course, as long as it's our turn, it has Hexproof, so it's a bit of a safer bet uh, when we when we get to, you know, targeting things with uh, some pump spells, so it's a very, very safe card. And again, that Trample just ensures that it's going to get through a lot of damage. Uh, as far as the pump spells themselves, uh, I'm actually going to talk about Domery's Ambush and Collision Colossus first. So Domery's Ambush is a way to clear the board a little bit on the opponent's side. You get a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature, then you fight the creature, or excuse me, deals damage to its power equal to target creature or planeswalker. Uh, so this is very much a good interactive spell for us. And again, we can double trigger off of Dreadhorde Arcanist if we do it right. Um, Collision Colossus also deals with flyers pretty well. Uh, in playtesting, I found that that's actually really, really helpful right now. Uh, six damage to target creature with flying is a lot. Uh, so uh, the idea is to kind of clear the board with that if you need to, or more, more likely you just play the Colossus side and give plus four, plus two, uh, and trample until the end of the turn, which is, again, a little ridiculous, but that's the idea. 
Uh, as far as the rest of the spells, though, we have Fight as one to kind of keep our stuff alive, but also pump them up a little bit. Uh, really, really good card in this. Oftentimes, we will find ourselves, depending on the deck we're against, wanting to leave this up uh, just to be safe. Uh, Infuriate here, just a really efficient pump spell, as well as Giant Growth. Uh, as far as the land count goes, we have 21. Uh, you can kind of take a quick peek. We've got four mountains, one forest. Uh, the full gambit of, uh, of Shocklands, and then two Temple of Plenty, two Temple of Triumph, and that is it. I don't really love the temples in this list, but it is what it is. I think, um, you know, you kind of have to have at least some uh, just to ensure that we can get the top of our deck going. I'm really hoping, by the way, the client's been having some issues. I know they're doing a lot of updates right now, so I'm, I'm hoping uh, that we won't have any issues during this video. If I do have to cut it, of course, I do apologize, but... Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. <laughs> hopefully our network will hold out too, because that's obviously always a bit of a worry for us. So, let's see what we can do. Ah, tasty. Um, obviously we need a good bit of green here, but, uh, considering we have an easy one too, that's a lot of what we're asking for in this deck, so I'm gonna try it. Uh, this may be a bit rough, but, uh, I do think it's kind of worth it. And we're against Butters! I don't know who Butters is, and I know you guys can't see the name, but holy crap, a name like Butters. You gotta be good. Um, also, guys, just want to mention, I am loving all of the uh, the Discord chat going on. First of all, it's going on literally right now. It keeps blowing up my phone. Um, second, though, uh, we have got a ton of people in there um, talking about the JDC and uh, in particular suggesting decks for it, which is so great. I am so excited for that. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am for it. Uh, I really do think it's going to be a fun time. Um, I'm going to just block here. Uh, they get to choose one of these to kill, but like, I'd rather do this now, uh, to be honest, because obviously it's going to have to happen at some point. Uh, let's attack. And I think we're just going to play out another Vindicator. Oops. Always forget that's a the first strike is slightly annoying. We really want a green land. If we can get a green land, we're we're gonna be in okay shape, but um, definitely a bit of a problem at this point. But that's okay. Hopefully we can get there. <laughs> hey, look at that. Um, so we can just Domri's ambush, which I kind of think is the right play. Let's do that, and then do that. Just get rid of stuff. Um, We'll attack in. We've got a left up Infuriate if we needed it, but it doesn't look like we do. And this is kind of the point, is just to continuously punch through as much damage as we can. Um, not necessarily going to get there 100%, but I do think that you know we're in at least decent shape at the moment. Uh, hopefully we can certainly get there. That would be amazing. Um, but the land is not bad. Uh, first things first, we attack. All right, can we just win is the question. Puts us up to five. Yeah, all right. There we go. And that's it. That's how you win. Turns out it's really simple. Um, <laughs> uh, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, man, this is such a fun deck. Uh, oh, no, it's happening. Guys, it's happening. We may have to be right back. I do apologize. All right, sorry about that, guys. We did uh, have a little bit of a tech difficulty. It looks like that might be the case uh, every once in a while today, but uh, obviously they're doing a lot of uh, a lot of updating and things like that for getting ready for tomorrow. Um, coming to Mac too. What the heck? That's awesome. Uh, also, we did get that first game, and I'm really excited about it. That was super super efficient. That is exactly what this deck is looking to do. Um, let let it be known that any deck that is as fast as this deck has contention for being something you should really just try and ladder up with. And I think that that's kind of the important distinction here to make is, you know, is this good enough for that? Um, the reason I say that, you know, mono red is kind of the industry standard, so to speak, for, you know, you just go ham, hope you get there. If you don't, it's fine because it only took you a minute. Um, this is a very similar list, and the question becomes, is it more efficient or anywhere better than mono red? And I, I don't know that it better is the right word, but uh, it does feel very, very cohesive. Uh, I think it's less consistent, uh, which in itself is a problem, uh, so potentially probably not uh, a choice over over Mono Red, but uh, it is quite good, and I, I really like how far over the top this goes in comparison to the Mono Red stuff, because it certainly does. 
Um, okay. Let's do this. Um, hmm. Do we want that? I don't think so, actually. I kind of think we just want pump spells and stuff. Uh, let's get another Legionnaire in there. Uh, this is going to be a life gain deck. This deck is always a little bit troublesome, obviously, when you're when you're an aggro deck, uh, for obvious reasons. So, hopefully, uh, it won't be too bad, but we'll see. We will see. <clears throat> really excited, guys. Let me know what deck you want to see in the comment section below. Uh, what deck are you most excited for for Corset 2021? Because I know, obviously, we're getting a lot of really, really good cards. Um like kind of stupid good cards uh and so i'm really excited to see what decks come out of all this but um i'd be interested to know from your perspective what kinds of what what deck is really like forefront of your mind what's the one you really want to see um if you guys comment down below we can hopefully get something like that going tomorrow uh as quickly as possible i'd i'd love to kind of double up and do a little bit of extra gameplay tomorrow i'm gonna do the best i can to but obviously you know the fact that i I do have a full-time job that I have to work on. Uh, does change things slightly, uh, but hopefully we can get there. Uh, that is a very good card. Um, hmm. Let's do this. We're going to give this haste. We're going to swing in. Perfect. Uh, they're going to lifelink, obviously, a little bit, which kind of sucks, but that's a good one. Um, this does give us the opportunity to kill that and get in for a decent amount of damage here. Um, interesting card, though. I normally don't see uh, Kinoros. Kino this card, I don't normally see. Um, but hey, it, it's good, actually, I think. Uh, very good, considering uh, the current meta and everything. Um yeah, there's a like I was saying though, there's a lot of really powerful stuff. I mean, new we're getting Ugin back, we're getting Grim Tutor, which I think is a great enabler. I know some people aren't quite as stoked on that as I am, but the fact that it's what it is, I think is really crucial. Um and so I'm stoked for it. Uh let's spellbreaker again. This may be incorrect. Chances are they've got, you know, some spell here to to at least get rid of something, but uh we're gonna Swing in for the max amount that we can this turn, I think, is the, the play. We can always kind of take this out at some point, by the way. Um, but I'm kind of waiting. A lot of times they play, like, Harpies and stuff like that in this deck. Yeah, I figured they've got something. But um, now we're in a position where they really have to do something. Because uh, this, you know, giving something trample here is going to be really, really nice. It's a good card. Uh, let's do that. Let's do this, and we'll we'll get to attack in here, which is great, uh, because again we can just. This is such a weird card. This is like a one of the standard like weird deck uh, pre-constructed decks. That's strange. Um, kind of into it, but that's strange. All right, so for this does not have life link, right? Perfect. We're just doing that. There we go. We got it. Uh, two in a row, feeling pretty good. This is a very efficient deck, as you are probably able to tell, um, and I love that. Um, we've had two fairly fairly straightforward draws. Um, I haven't had too much to worry about um, as far as the opponent's decks either, but uh, we'll see if we can get another another win with this one. I'm really liking this deck. Um, Naya as a color combination is always really fun. I think it adds... It just adds a different dimension to creature focus decks. Normally, they're kind of zoo decks, generally at least. Um, no. Yes. Yes, right? We could probably just put this back. Um, do want to keep all the spells here. I think that's pretty crucial. Uh, and I think we'll lead on the stomping ground. Um,. We'll see what we draw here. We're, we're obviously going to play one of these two, but I don't know which, actually. Um, let's go for this. It's a bigger target, for sure. Okay. Um, 
Hmm. Gonna do this. I mean, hit for eight damage on turn three is pretty good. Um, let's do this, and we'll just play another one. Um, my Dreadhorde Arcanist might have been better, actually. That might have been a bit of a misplay. Um, only because this is now in the graveyard. We kind of want more more of those spells, so that's going to not help us get there, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. We attack in. And we fight as one. Uh, just to keep our guy alive, honestly. Um, and obviously deal some damage. Let's play the Arcanist. Uh, looks like another life gain deck, man. Oh, okay, well, that was quick. Hey, we did it. That was a little underwhelming. Um, we're plat two now, look at that. Uh, that may or may not have ever happened before. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, that was very efficient. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I do apologize for the little break in between. Uh, again, we were just having some update issues. Hopefully, uh, that will not happen in video two. Again, we'll summarize our thoughts on this deck at the end of video two, so do stay tuned for that video. But uh, I do really like this deck, and I, I think if you're if you're looking for just a ladder grinder, this is not a bad option if you're just looking to get away from the mono red list. Um, I think this offers a lot. So we'll talk about that, obviously. But thank you again for watching. Uh, stay tuned. And again, participate uh, in the JDC if you are interested. Uh, you can drop your, your deck suggestions in our Discord. Uh, we've also had a few announcements on our Discord. So if you're not already there, I would definitely suggest looking in there. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy everything. So thank you guys so much. I will see you very, very soon for part two with this Naya Hyper Aggro deck. Really, really excited about it. Thanks, guys.